Today I'm going to be talking about the physical demand that it takes to move your furniture from one location to another. All right, my name is Eduardo Martinez and I am the owner of We Move Moving Company. And the reason why I'm making today's um, podcast specifically is because I actually had to step in and, and take care of a move. And it was a damn well reminder of why, you know, why it is so important to hire movers, you know, and also the physical demand that it requires. All right. So essentially what, what happened today was, you know, I, I had a, um, you know, one of my guys, you know, call me up. He was ready to work and everything. And, you know, I started calling, you know, my team and had scheduled, you know, actually two people to start, you know, taking on the move and everything. And unfortunately, you know, uh, first person didn't show up. So second person called him up. You know, we're supposed to also meet at a certain location and he never showed up. So at this point, I had one of my movers that had already got into a customer's house and I knew that today's move needed to be done. So I decided to roll up my sleeves and jump in and take care of the job. All right. So while I was doing the work, you know, it was it was a quick reminder. You know, once I got there, you know, I knew what I was getting myself into. I've done hundreds of moves before me, myself and, you know, getting there today, you know, I knew what I was, you know, what I was about to do. So I got there, started taking a few, you know, things from upstairs, downstairs. And after maybe the second or third, you know, uh, going up and downstairs, you know, I, I, I started feeling it, you know, I started getting a little winded, you know, so I sat down and, you know, just kind of talked myself into, you know, hey, you can do this, you know, stop, you know, letting your body, you know, speak for you, you know, in my mind, you know, I was ready and prepared, you know, like I even got upset because I couldn't, you know, uh, move, you know, faster than, than what I wanted to. All right. So anyways, uh, you know, I, I kept pushing through it and, you know, taking my water and everything and, and staying hydrated, carrying the furniture, you know, after a while, you know, just my arms and, and my legs and just everything started really hurting. And I was like, okay, so what's going on right now? You know, like I can't be resting, you know, too many times because at the end of the day, you know, we need to provide a service to a customer. So I'm pushing through it. You know, I'm just, I'm just, you know, mowing right down to it. You know, um, anyways, a couple of hours later, you know, I, I, we moved out a, a couch and, and, you know, I was outside, actually I leaned over the couch and I was like, all right, cool. Let me, let me just kind of like get a breather, got in my headspace one last time, walked inside the customer's house. We're ready to move, you know, the last few couches, you know, the last few things that we needed to load up into a moving truck. And I threw up, you know, have you ever worked out so much? that you know it you know physically you know your body's like ah you know what i don't want anything inside my body anymore just that you know here it is you know and yeah there it was you know so i mean um you know i didn't make a mess uh thank god all i had was uh just water and parade you know in my system but you know that was not only was it embarrassing you know it was it was it was you know a reminder to me of of how physically demanding it is to move you know at that point you know i called up uh, another one of my guys you know it was a little bit you know a few hours later and and fortunately you know i'm i'm super happy that he jumped in and said hey you know what yes let me go and uh, take on the move and help you you know complete the job and you know this is a a, a reminder of you know not only staying hydrated you know not only you know um of course you know i'm, I'm super happy with my moors but it was kind of like a reminder of hey the guys that are doing the work they're doing heavy lifting they're getting tired you know we're loading up the the moving truck and everything and at the same time making sure that the furniture was protected but that constant reminder that was there while i was physically on the job you know it you know it just kind of overwhelmed me i was like okay yeah i need to take care of the furniture but can I take care of myself as well? You know, like, so, so it was kind of like a, a double, a double whammy here. You know, I was just kind of like taking on, you know, everything that was going on physically, you know, for myself, then the, the customers, you know, property, you know, their walls their belongings and everything. And you know, that, that's just something that that's, that was very stressful, you know? So guys, you know, the, the reason why I'm making this uh, podcast specifically is for you to also consider, you know, um, whether you're a customer, you're going to be hiring somebody, you know, if you're going to be doing that uh, DIY move, uh, by all means, you know, you can rent the moving truck at U-Haul and, you know, pretty much take care of the work yourself. Um, and, and it's a great way to save money. The only thing is that it is extremely physically demanding. You know, it will take longer, you know, um, if you decide to do it yourself because the movers come in with the dollies, with the furniture straps, you know, with everything that they, that they need take care of the move and 
And, you know, it's different whenever you move yourself. Now, if you have a lot of friends and family that are going to be jumping in on that, you know, move, then, yeah, by all means, that's, I would encourage that um, to save on time and energy. But in this case, you know, um, as a moving company, if you're a moving company owner, take a minute, you know, honestly, like th this is specifically for the owners here. Um, you know, take a, min a minute, man, you know, um, or woman, you know, um, if 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 you own a moving company think about the guys that are that are working with you they know the kind of work that they're enduring you know like that that, that they're enduring um you know i want you to to remember you know how hard it is you know to take care of a moving job and even though you have all the right tools all the equipment and everything yeah to make it easier at the end of the day basically there's still a lot of work that's going to be put into the job you know so um of course this is me appreciating specifically the guys that are working with me the the people on my team i'm you know it, it's a reminder uh specifically today because uh, you know just i just not only did i not feel it you know i threw up because again i was so exhausted i was just out of it and yeah i mean keep in mind um i'm older <laughs> i'm what 35 i think anyways so and and a lot of my crew members you know they're they're younger than me and and even at that you know i still have people that that are you know at about the same age and you know they're busting ass and i'm and i'm over here thinking like damn you know they can really you know take on a move and everything you know and and keep in mind you know to me specifically it, it was just kind of like hey you know don't forget to touch base on the fact that your guys are human beings the people that are doing the the work itself are individuals yes that are getting paid but that's uh, irrelevant in this specific uh, case only because you know these are people that are busting it that you know it's physically demanding to carry a mattress have you ever carried a mattress have you ever tried to keep that above the ground just to make sure that it doesn't you know get a uh, um you know dirty or whatever you know have you ever carried anything downstairs furniture downstairs with your bare hands or in this case you know like for example with us with moving straps you know if you've never done that you know just keep in mind it's, it's hard you know and if you want to take it on by all means you know um you know there's plenty of work here with me but you know th this is actually um uh, a podcast specifically to remind business owners like hey guys you know don't forget about the people that are working with you and just, you know, at the very least, a thank you. A thank you so much for the hard work. A thank you so much for dedicating their time, their energy. And truly, what I mean, thank you for dedicating your energy is, is, is this is, you know, a, a strong truth, you know, like, uh, and again, I've done many moves, but today, you know, it was just one of those days that, you know, my body was like, hey, I'm not having it, you know? And, and, you know, that reminder that, you know, my guys, I know that they push through it. I know my guys, you know, bust ass and, and they try to make sure that, you know, they try to get in as many hours and, and, you know, they also try to make sure to take care of the customers of the furniture and, and just, you know, that's an endless, you know, uh, gratitude on behalf of my guys or me thanking my guys. Um, but yeah, you know, it's just a strong reminder. And I felt that this podcast or, or this specific category is important for you to know. Um, you know, even though, you know, we've talked about it for the last eight minutes. Um, you know, it's just so important that you understand the physical demand that, that it requires whenever you need to move furniture. So if you're going to be moving in the near future, please, first of all, thank your mover. You know, or thank the people that are going to be helping you move. It is hard. It is demanding. Um, there's a reason, you know, um, why movers charge what they charge. You know, I'm, I, I don't want to make this a podcast about the cost. Um, but keep in mind, you know, it can be cost efficient. You're saving at the end of the day uh, energy and, and time, right? You know, um, I, was, I was working as quickly as possible. But, you know, I also understood my limitations. So, anyways, guys, you know, I feel that now I'm bouncing all over the place with this subject. And, you know, I felt that, you know, again, we need to talk about the, the physical demands and everything. Anyways, so that's exactly what I wanted to put out there today. Guys, I really appreciate you uh, tuning in today. And I will catch you on the next podcast. Take care. Bye-bye.